Hello. This video is aimed primarily at my grade 10 TOPS students at this time. I just wanted to make this video specific to our this course so that you can understand what I perceive what we probably can do to make some progress in this course uh, while we're away from the school proper. So we've been uh, studying the speed of light and again it's not that you have problem sets. You'll basically be asked to explain these concepts to me when the evaluation does occur. And that, of course, is indeterminate just now. So there'll be no evaluations. There'll be nothing due on the arrival when we do get back to school. So let's not fret about those things and let's just concentrate on learning some new ideas. So I'll finish up the speed of light. We'll probably go back to Fizeau, Foucault, and then Michelson 1 and then Michelson 2. And a, and a kind of a finish up on that, and then we'll move into the nature of light and how we began to understand other concepts of light. And these will all be part of what we do ultimately get to uh, quantum mechanics proper. Uh, and um, so that's sort of what's ahead of us. And as I said to my grade 11s, the uh, initial flow of videos might be a little slower as I learn just exactly how to set up my studio here and, and make this uh, at a level that I'm satisfied with at least, and we'll, we'll go from there. So be patient and be good to each other, and we'll see what happens. I understand that all of you are probably somewhat anxious about the status or of what's going to happen with the trip to Algonquin Park. Now, the short answer is, I don't know. And all I can do is my job in the sense that trying to be as ready as I can be, that if for some reason this situation is resolved in time, and we are given authority to move forward on this trip that we're ready to do so. Uh, obviously, on this trip, we have two primary concerns with close contact. The first one being the ride up on the highway coach to the park and back down again. The second one being the sleeping accommodations in the tents. Uh, there's no way to mitigate this. And if it is in the wisdom of public health, et cetera, that this is too close, then that will be that, regardless of whether the facilities are closed or anything else. And of course, that's also coming on the school board being back in session and supporting us. Uh, if we cannot continue, uh, I propose to have uh, other strategies that may use our own equipment and other types of devices to affect similar types of work where we can do this that'll still be within the spirit of the rules that we all find ourselves under just now. I don't want to speculate online just now exactly how these would play out, as there are so many permutations to those that it would be just a waste of time. But understand fully that uh, whatever amount of school year we have left uh, in the school, whatever that's going to look like, uh, I will do my utmost to give you as interesting an experience as we know how to make just now. So, so that's pretty much where we sit. If you're curious, of course, you can certainly have a look at the videos I'm generating for the grade 11 physics students, which will be uh, arguably more in depth because their course is a bit easier to, to move forward on. In some respects, we don't have the team, team teaching situation and so forth. But nevertheless, uh, and again, as I said, you know, this is a time to learn a new language or become more effective or become better at your music or some other constructive thing that you can do with your time. Please follow the instructions of your, of the authorities and your family, and be safe and be healthy, and we'll see you soon. Thank you very much.